Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to show you guys how to get input from users in PHP. So a lot of times in our PHP programs, you know, we're going to be dealing with all sorts of information and data, but a lot of times we're going to want to be able to get that information and that data from a user, right? Any good website is going to allow the user to be interacting with it, you know, filling out forms, doing all sorts of stuff um, on the website. So in PHP, we can actually get input from users um, that type information into things like text boxes or buttons or, you know, really anything like that. So I'm going to show you guys how we can do that in PHP. Now, in order to do this in PHP, we're actually going to need to do a couple things. The first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to set up something called a form. Now, if you're familiar with HTML, then hopefully you have like a basic understanding of what a form is. But if not, I'm going to go ahead and explain it to you guys. A form is basically a special HTML element that's going to allow the user to um, input information and then it'll be able to pass the information that the user enters over to our PHP programs. So the form is kind of like the middleman between HTML and PHP, right? So the form is where HTML and PHP meet, and it's essentially just a way that PHP can get information from a user. So we can set up a form, and then inside of that form, we can put like text boxes or radio buttons or you know submit buttons, really anything that we want, and then the user is gonna be able to interact with us in PHP We'll be able to get what the user enters. So this is going to be kind of cool. And down here, I'm going to show you guys how we can set up a basic HTML form. So I'm just going to come over here and we're just going to type out form and we need to give this some HTML attributes. So the first thing that I want to put in here is just the keyword action. And I'm just going to say action is equal to and open and close quotation marks. And inside here, we're basically going to put the name of the PHP page that we want to be able to handle this form. So in our case, I'm over here on my site.php file, and this is just the file that we've been using throughout this uh, course. And this is the file where I want to handle um, what happens with the form. So down here, I'm just gonna put the name of this page. So it's just site.php. So we're basically just put the name of the PHP page that we want to work with. And then over here, we're gonna make another one, which is gonna be called method. And this is essentially going to tell this form uh, what we're trying to do with it. With this form, we're trying to get information from the user. Like the whole purpose of having this form here is that we want to be able to get information from the user and use it in our PHP code. So I'm just going to put get right here and get is basically just going to mean that we're trying to get information. So now I have the first part of this form and we want to come down here and we're just going to make a closing tag. So I'm just going to close this form off. Now inside of this form, I can actually put some like text boxes. Basically I can put HTML elements that will allow the user to interact with the page. So, you know, something where they can type in or like a button that they can press. So over here, I'm going to make an input. So I'm just going to say input and input is actually a special tag that can be used with these forms and the input tag will allow the user to input information. And since it's like special, it'll work with the form in order to pass that information back to PHP. So over here, I can just say input and I wanna give this a type and I'm just gonna say input type is equal to text. And this is just gonna give us a basic text box. And then over here, I wanna give this one more thing. We're gonna give this a name and you wanna make sure that this is a, um, one, it's gonna be a name that's going to describe what type of content you're getting. And also this name needs to be unique. So let's say for the purposes of this tutorial and for the purposes of this program, why don't we ask the user to enter in their name? So I'll basically just prompt the user, tell them that they should enter in their name. So I'm actually just gonna call this name. And then finally, we can just end off this input tag. And then over here, I'm just gonna type in a prompt. So I'm basically just gonna type in name. And this will kind of like tell us what this um, text box is for. So now if I was to come over here and refresh my page, you guys will see that we have this text box and it's basically asking us for our name. So I could actually type into here and um, you know it'll allow me to input information. But we're not done. There's one more thing that we have to do and we have to put a submit button. So you know once the user types in the information that they want, I want them to be able to click a button and then that information will basically get submitted. So what I'm gonna do down here is I'm gonna create a button. So I'm just gonna say input and type is gonna be equal to submit. 
So this submit button is special. It's basically just gonna submit all the information in the text boxes up here. So when I click this submit button, it's basically going to submit the information to PHP and we'll be able to you know, access all the information that got submitted in our PHP program. So over here, like I said, just type submit and then you'll see that we're getting this submit button down here. So now we have our HTML form set up. So we actually have everything set up on the HTML side. Now we need to go over into PHP and I'll show you guys how we can actually get access to all of the information that was entered in this form. So over here I have my little PHP tags and I'm actually just going to take these and I'm gonna move them down here below the form. So I'm gonna make like a break tag and I'm gonna put the PHP down here. And so what we can actually do now is inside of these PHP tags, we can access the information that got submitted when we click that submit button. So when I go over and I click that submit button, essentially what happens is that form gets submitted and we can access the information that got submitted inside of our PHP program. So what I can actually do is I can just say echo and remember, the echo command is just going to sort of echo something out into the HTML document. And what I wanna do is I wanna echo out the name that the user input, right? So remember, we gave this a name, it was just called name. And down here, I wanna echo out that information that got submitted. So what I can actually do is I can say echo, and I'm gonna make a dollar sign underscore, and I'm gonna type out G-E-T, and this stands for get. So this is basically gonna get the information that got submitted. And then I'm gonna make an open and closed square bracket. And inside of here, I'm gonna make quotation marks and I'm gonna type out the name of the input that I wanna grab. So you'll notice over here, this input tag for the name, I gave it a name called name, right? So this was its name. Down here, I can just type that in. And basically what this is gonna do now is it's gonna print out the value that got submitted inside of that text box. So if I was to come over here to my program, and I can come over here and just type in my name. So I'm just gonna type in Mike. Now when I click submit, what's gonna happen is the name that I submitted is gonna get echoed out onto the page. So let's click submit and you'll see over here it echoes out that value. So it echoes out Mike. And it was actually pretty easy, right? All we had to do was set up this form and then down here we said get and we passed in the name of the input tag. So I could make this whatever I wanted. I could change this to like username if I wanted and then down here I could change this to username and it's gonna do the same thing. So that name is pretty arbitrary, like it can be whatever you want it to be. It just has to match. So the name over here has to match the name up there. And so that's basically how we can get input from the user. We set up our form, we allow the user to enter in in that text box, and then when they click that submit button, essentially what happens is this field over here is gonna get populated with the user's name and we'll be able to print it out. So that's basically how this works. And if I wanted, I could actually come over here and I could print out like your name is and then it'll print out their name. So now it'll be like a little bit more of a um, explanation. So you'll see down here now it says like your name is ADSF. Um, but if I actually typed in my name like Mike, now it'll say your name is Mike. So essentially we're taking the information that we got from the form and we're sort of like interweaving it into our HTML document just like that. And you can really do this for as much information as you want. So obviously over here we're just getting their name but if I wanted, I could get another piece of information. So I could say like, let's ask them to enter in their age. And actually over here, we're gonna put a break tag. So I could say like, enter your age. And then again, we can just make another input and we can make this a number input because it's an age. And I could call this age. And then we can sort of like close this off. And then down here, I could print out their name. So I'm actually just gonna copy this line up here and we can paste this down here. And I'm also gonna put a break tag here. And now instead of saying your name is, I could say like your age is, and then over here we can just print out their age. So now I can actually enter in two pieces of information, the name and the age. So over here, you know, we could say like someone's name is John and they're 30. And now it'll populate both of these fields with that information. So you can see we're getting John and 30. So that's sort of the basics of getting input from users. And you know, really, this is just scratching the surface. Obviously, you can get more complex 
with the types of information that you're getting and the amount of information that you're getting. But this basic concept is gonna apply in every aspect of PHP, right? We set up our form, we use this action, which is just gonna point to the like, current page, um, and then we're using this get method. And then down here, when we wanna access that information that gets submitted, we can just say like dollar sign underscore get, and then the name of the input form that was submitted. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.